From Demetrius Johnson leaving the UFC for one championship to them offering better rules for weight cutting, one championship does some things better when it comes to MMA promotion. Sure, Dana White's organization has pretty much cornered the market, but let's face it, it's been a while since anyone could challenge it. I mean, one championship has been making waves in the MMA world, they've even had big events where UFC champions like Demetrius Johnson and Eddie Alvarez have competed. So there's no doubt that this means some serious business and competition for Dana. Let's take a quick look at the histories of the two biggest players in the world of MMA, starting with UFC, which has been around for a while now and has come a long way. Dana White purchased the company for $2 million, despite warnings from his lawyer. And oh boy, did it pay off. This makes sense because back then the sport was considered too brutal and inhumane. Heck, some even called it human cockfighting. But the UFC worked hard to clean up the sport and make it more regulated. Today, the UFC is worth over $12 billion and is one of the leaders in the MMA world. But one championship gives it a run for its money, even if it's a relatively new player in the game. It was founded by Chatri Sichudang and Victor Kui, who believed that martial arts were Asia's cultural treasure and wanted to create a promotion of their own. Today, one championship has become the largest promotion in Asia and has gained a dedicated following. Many people first heard about it when they traded with the UFC. Yes, I'm talking about the infamous Demetrius Johnson and Ben Askren trade. It was a win-win situation for both fighters because Johnson wasn't really satisfied with the UFC, and the UFC got an undefeated fighter who was seeking better opportunities. But that's not the only thing one championship is famous for. They also host Mai Tai and kickboxing events, which sets them apart from the UFC. They have separate divisions for each of these martial arts. This this means that they've got a total of 22 champions compared to the 12 from the UFC. Not only that, but their atmosphere and attitude towards fighters is very different. I mean, their events are the kind of events you'd typically see at Pride FC in Japan. A sort of classic event where the crowd would go silent during the fights and only make noise once they were over. At least compared to what we typically see in North America and Europe, the fighters are treated like superstars and they receive a level of respect that's sometimes missing in other parts of the world. This is a big part of what one championship is going for in Asia. On their website, they talk about celebrating Asia's greatest cultural treasure on top of values like integrity, humility, honor, respect, courage, discipline, and compassion. That's a pretty lofty goal, but it's a refreshing change of pace. I mean, on the other hand, the UFC's tagline is as real as it gets. While you could argue that this embodies some of the same values that one promotes, it's clear that the UFC takes a different approach. They have a more confrontational style and there's a lot more trash talk involved. While some fans might find this off-putting, it's hard to argue with the fact that it gets people talking and draws a lot of attention to the sport. After all, who doesn't love the entertainment that Conor McGregor brings? Sure, all the entertainment we see come out of the UFC is fun and all. That doesn't mean they don't have rules in place, but they're very different from one championship. In fact, those pesky rules are one of the biggest reasons why Demetrius Johnson wanted to leave the fight promotion. Three judges use the 10-point must system to score the fight. The winner of the round gets 10 points and the loser gets 9 or less. The judges score based on effective striking and grappling, effective aggressiveness, and fighting area control. It's pretty straightforward. But what about the things that are not allowed in the UFC? Well, the list is surprisingly long. But the gist of it is that they don't allow fighters to do anything to cause permanent damage. As far as one championship is concerned, their rules are different in terms of their judging criteria. Judges score fights as a whole rather than round by round, which may be hard for some casual fans to understand, but there's an argument to be made that this is a better way of doing things. One judges score fights based on knockdowns or near submissions, internal or accumulated damage, striking combinations, and and ground control, completed or defended takedowns, and effective aggression. In terms of rules, one championship doesn't adopt the unified rules of MMA like the UFC does, but the differences are minor. Fighters can and can't do the same things in one as in the UFC, with the main difference being that in one, you're allowed to throw knees at a grounded opponent. Of course, that's a plus point because it gives the fighter an amazing opportunity to KO his 
or her opponent. By now, it should be clear as day that one prioritizes its fighters above just providing entertainment. I mean, even their weight cutting rules are better, and weight cutting in combat sports is a topic that often brings up strong opinions, both positive and negative. You see, the process of cutting weight can be incredibly taxing on a fighter's body, and many fighters in the UFC have suffered because of it. I mean, fighters often undergo drastic weight cuts to make weight for their respective divisions. This usually involves a combination of dieting and dehydration, which can leave fighters looking emaciated and on the brink of collapse. Thankfully, one championship takes steps to address this issue. They've done away with the traditional weight cutting process altogether. Instead, fighters are subject to regular weight and hydration checks throughout the fight week. This helps ensure they're not putting their bodies at risk. This approach is a step in the right direction, and many fighters have spoken out in favor of it. Of course, some argue that weight cutting is simply part of the sport, and that taking it away would fundamentally change the nature of combat sports. Now, there's no denying that cutting weight has been a part of combat sports for a long time, but that doesn't mean it's a good thing. Fighters should be able to compete at their natural weight, without having to put their health on the line just to make weight for a particular division. It's a complex issue and there are no easy answers, but it's good to see that one championship is one step ahead of the UFC when it comes to fighter safety. Of course, the UFC is still the undisputed king of MMA promotions, and one championship still can't compete in that respect. As of April 2023, the 187th biggest MMA PPVs of all time belong to the UFC. It's not even a competition. But that's not to say that one championship isn't making waves. In fact, April 2021 was a historic month for one, with some of the biggest events to date taking place. There's certainly a demand for high-level competition outside of the UFC. Sure, both the UFC and one championship share the same status as the biggest and most popular MMA promotions, but the UFC is the reigning champ in North America, while one championship is the top dog in Asia. And while there are plenty of differences between the two organizations, one thing they've in common is that they both have a massive following and a ton of growth potential. When it comes to one championship, they've already made huge strides in establishing themselves as a major player in the world of combat sports. Their unique approach to weight cutting, emphasis on sportsmanship, and dedication to Asian martial arts has helped them carve out a niche that sets them apart from the UFC. So one championship's future looks very promising. If you want a more traditional, respectful approach to the sport, one championship is the way to go. But if you're looking for some drama and excitement, the UFC has plenty of that to offer. Well, that's it for me about why one championship is better than the UFC. UFC. What respect, what integrity.